what we do in, uh, in brief is we provide no cost professional and in-depth business counseling that is legally confidential. We work with uh, those who are starting a business, those who have a business, on issues of financing, growth, business planning, those who are looking to uh, do research on a particular market and try to find out how their business can adapt to that particular market. It's a whole range of issues that we are able to help businesses with directly and also to connect them to other resources. My suggestion is always if you're working with one technical service provider, that you should look and see what uh, other viewpoints are as well. It's always good to have as many eyeballs look over your business plan, have as many conversations as possible to be able to test the metal of your idea and to be able to just accumulate uh, the best advice that you can. With that though, I invite everyone to come to our center afterwards or any small business development center. There's actually one right here in Brooklyn to um, have a counseling appointment to follow up on some of the in-depth things here when it comes to financial statements. So what we're talking about today is your, your, your finances for your business, managing your finances. On a scale of one to five, um, actually let's just make it easier, on a scale of one to three, one being very um, light understanding and knowledge of financials for your business, how many would raise their hand and say one? Medium, you're so-so with the finances of your business, but you could learn a little bit more. And how many feel that they've really understood a lot about their financials, they really even have accounting knowledge, they understand how to build um, financial statements, and have this pretty well tightened up? Okay. Everyone who is in that category are in the other workshops. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to be doing is uh, first talking about... <coughs> This way. Can I move this over a little bit? The, the, normally there's three different financial statements that are considered most important. The cash flow statement, the income statement, the balance sheet. I'd like to introduce uh, at least one more today, and that is the sources and uses of funds. Given that we have so many new businesses um, in the room, that uh, people have just recently opened up their business, those who are planning to open up a business, is that it really starts, so these are building blocks that really build each financial statement. And one of your first steps to do in just the process of evaluating what you need to do to open up a business is not only researching your market, identifying who they are, what their preferences are, how your business is going to serve that market and be built around your clients, but then also how much is this model that you've been developing going to cost? And this very first statement, the sources and uses of funds statement, which is actually right here um, on your handout, and I'll refer to, if I may just use this here, you have um, a summary of my notes on the first two pages of this handout, first two and, and a half pages. But the very first one is the, you know, unfortunately, I did not have enough copies, and so you'll have to look on to the person next to you. It didn't, oh. Um, I prefer if, uh, Okay, if we could actually have uh, every other person take a copy, and if you could pass that through for the sake of the presentation, that'd be very helpful. Uh, not the actual statements, they're too big to be able to put into a PowerPoint. Um, but what I can do actually is I will write it on the board, and I think that would be helpful. Thank you very much. All right, so the sources and uses of funds page is first a list of uses of funds. And in this lineup, you have everything that it is going to take to open up your business. And this means having found a space, you know what kind of renovations uh, it's going to need. You've con uh, talked to contractors, you've gotten estimates on the repairs, you've gone shopping for the materials. You know how much it's going to cost to be able to arrange the space for yourself, whether it's your home office or a storefront. Another one could be the rent deposit that you need to be able to uh, put down at the very beginning uh, to get into the space. Next category could be well, startup expenses. Lease improvements. I'm sorry? Leasehold improvements. Uh, leasehold improvements, that's right. And so uh, that's what we're talking about, renovations, um, anything you want to do to maybe even buy equipment or furniture um, for the business. You could even have a, um, a uh, opening um, event that's going to be marketing the, uh, the arrival of your business, a grand opening. 
And so you put in a budget for that. The other thing that's very important to put into here, your uses of funds, is also your, um, your reserves. And it's often recommended that you start with about three to six months of your fixed costs and reserves. Now I say three to six months very loosely. There are some businesses that, with luck, get by with less. And there are some businesses that have the preparation and wherewithal to be able to, to move on with more. But what I mean by that is you've calculated, through one of the financial statements we'll show here, exactly what do you need to cover your fixed expenses, your rent, your utilities, your salary, and everything that's going to take to run that business on a monthly basis whether you sell anything or not. So that becomes your total fixed expenses. I recommend having three to six months of those because we live in a very exciting city. We live in a city of train delays, road construction, uh, whiteouts, we have uh, blackouts, brownouts, we have all types of incidents uh, that can really delay the opening of your business. It can delay something that you needed that was core, a liquor store without a liquor license, a bar without a liquor license. These are nightmares that happen all the time. We may have walked by two or three of these just between J Street and Polytechnical Institute. So the thing is, is that it's very important to be able to have cash reserves, and I would put that into your sources and uses of funds. Because this means everything you need to open the door. The last part of it, though, and this is on the statement as well, is the sources of funds. Right? Of, of funds, that's great. Of funds. And where do we get money? From our own wallet, right? So you have self, you have, uh, which is savings, you also have, I heard credit cards mumbled. Oh, I wish this were a real chalk bar because I'd run my fingers down the board and, and make you feel that same feeling I heard when I heard credit cards. And to what? Uh, well, you would say savings, right? Let's, so let's just go with savings, your own assets, right? And then you also have loans and you also have financing. Or, or I'm going to call it equity. And that's what the seminar just previous to this was about, was it getting investor money for your business. So where is it going to go? Where is it going to come from? That's the sources and uses of funds page. And oftentimes, people dive into their business and kind of do this after the fact. And that's when a lot of problems happen, because one didn't really calculate exactly how much money they need to be able to not only get their chin over the bar or fall right over the finish line and say, I'm open. <laughs> But also, when you open that door, hopefully sales come in, but also so do a whole bunch of other circumstances, right? You need to be able to have the money to deal with those changes and those dynamics. You learn about the community. As soon as you open up a business and you want to sell to it, you want to sell to somebody, you're learning about them. You may actually change what you're doing a little bit, and you want to have the financing to be able to do that. So that's why it's very important to fill out this very first form, the sources and uses of funds. Are there any questions on that? When you say equity, you mean sell some of the PC business? That's right. You're selling uh, part ownership in your business. <coughs> and um, that's the sources and uses of funds page. And so when we were looking at that very last portion here of debt and equity, I wanted to just introduce, this is kind of the, you know, where a how a lender uh, will look at your business. And that's where financial statements come into this is that that lender is going to be looking at, uh, if it's a brand new business, your financial projections. Uh, and believe me, there are some lenders who are cracking open business plans and actually looking at them at this point in time for new businesses. But many banks, as we well know, are being very conservative still. But the thing is, is that they're making a decision on five different categories. Cash flow, the collateral, the uh, character of the borrower, the capital, and the credit score. Today is really focused on that cash flow and that um, on the cash flow issue. In order to be able to show that cash flow, you need to be able to start building a basic accounting system for your business. And we'll talk about that here in a moment.